In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace a broken LCD screen of the Acer Travelmate 5335. But I have to mention that most of the laptops, dependently on the brand, are assembled the same way. So you could use this video to replace another laptop screen too, but it might be a bit different on the inside. Okay, let's get started. So to get started, I always recommend to remove the battery of the laptop. So let's get started with that. Like that. So in that way, you cannot get electrocuted or whatever it takes. So for the first thing, we're going to check um, the bezel of the screen. So this is the bezel of the screen and we're going to try and remove that. You can do this with your nails, but they might get hurt if you uh, try it too hard. So. I'm using this card for it. Um, it is basic, but it is good enough. Um, what I always recommend to do is to first check if there are some screws beneath these um, yeah, uh, rubber pads. And if you can see, there are some. It is not with every laptop, so be aware of that. Um, so I'm trying to remove. I might use my knife for it. I'm removing now those screws so you can get them off. Always remember to port, uh, sort your uh, screws just on your desk to not lose any of them. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm pretty sure that there are not any screws beneath here because they will not fit. Um, I'm going to try and lift it off. With I can try it with my nails now and you'll probably hear some cracking sounds, which is normal. Bam, that was it. Do not be afraid. It can break, but normally if you do it just very carefully, it will not break. You can see I didn't break anything and the bezel just got off. Okay, so let's move it here. I have to assure you that to 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 assemble to assemble the new screen on it, it will be a lot lot easier. So what we're do doing now is we're just going to remove these screws. We are seeing here, um, yeah, here, and this corner, and also this corner. So we're just going to remove these four. Some laptops might have a webcam installed, so be careful. Um, in, not, in this case, there is no webcam installed. It should be here then, if there would be uh, one present. But in this case, it isn't. As you can see, the screen is already loose and it depends on, as I said, the manufacturer of the laptop, how this is mounted. And 
I can see now that there are some screws here on the side of the laptop. The thing is, on this side it was broken because the laptop fell. So we have to remove these six screws too. Okay, so we did this. Yeah, watch out with the cable because the cable you still need. Um, I suggest you always to put the screen just on your keyboard and I lost the screw here but I cannot see it immediately. We'll find it later. So always be careful if you um, remove connectors uh, in a laptop because they are always very very um, easily harmed um, here it is quite okay remember that this screen is already broken so you don't have to really watch out what you're doing most of the time there's some plasticky um, thing onto the, the connector so be careful if you trying to get it loose you can use the knife for doing so, but I'm just doing it with my bare fingers now. No, I use. This one you're going to use uh, again. Let me zoom in on it so you can see it. So this connector we are going to use, of course, again on the new uh, screen. So if you okay, got this off, it's really well made here. Um, we're going to try and detach the connector itself. So here it is very important to be very careful because we have to reuse it. Let me turn the laptop. So as you can see here, this is a connector we need. Let me try and focus on here. Okay, so normally you just have to pull. It depends on, 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 the, on the manufacturer like that. You see, it just came off. You just have to be very careful when you take it out. So in fact, this is it to remove the LCD. So this is a laptop screen I bought from laptopscreen.com. Make sure you uh, buy, buy the same uh, LCD screen um, online. I did choose, I think I chose to um, switch from a glossy screen to a matte screen, because I'm, I'm a big fan of matte screens, and yes, in this case it is too, but that is no problem at all for the laptop. So just be sure you pick the right res resolution. If you don't, for some particular brands, you can uh, use specific adapters to um, be able to switch to a bigger res resolution, for example. So make sure you put the same, let me zoom in on that again. Okay. So be sure you click it in very carefully. It should be like that there. I didn't do anything more and it already clicked in to it. Everything should be okay. And now we're just moving back the LCD screen as it were before.
almost done because we just have to put the screws again on the correct place. Note there are sometimes some small, let me zoom in, let me try. Sometimes there's, besides the hole for, uh, for the screw, there's another yeah, plasticky thing to make it, to make sure it is in place. Okay, and now let's screw these again. Done. So what we're going to do right now, I suggest you put the laptop, depending on the brand and manufacturer, against your chest, that it is supported well. And you just put the bezel in the right place again. Let's do a test and see if it works. Of course, we forgot to put in the battery again. So let's put it back in. Bam. And let's try it out. As you can see, the screen is fixed and that didn't take so much time. So, all right, that's it. So guys, as you can see, this laptop screen is completely fixed. But if it didn't work out as well for you, then make sure to mention that down below in the comments and I'll be eager to help you. If you like this video, please make sure to like it. If you disliked it, dislike the video and tell me why in the comments. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.